Okay, guys. Welcome. What are you doing? I'm starting a new vlog. Right now? Yeah. Why? Well, just like a little bit. Let's put some music. <laughs> a low key, I'm not even sleepy right now. Ves, es que porque el wifi. Ves, te dije. Hey guys, um, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Liz. What's your I name again? I would really appreciate if you guys. Elizabeth. <laughs> when I went to go get buff, uh, the wings, I told the girl, "Well, because you're asking the name, remember?" Uh, Liz Beth. Elizabeth. Oh my no! god. No, what the fuck did you hear the E at? Thank you. It's not Thank you. Elizabeth. Thank you. Elizabeth. That's my freaking struggle everywhere that I go. <laughs> I'm just like, I'd rather just not say my name because it's pissing me off when people get it wrong. Saturday, I made some tacos oh, de canasta. What's Saturday? Oh, that's this. I made some tacos de canasta today and they no were. No cierto. We. Oui. No son de canasta. Okay, de olla. They were okay. I mean, no, I. No, they were good. Yeah. Yeah. It's because I get really kind of asqueado when it comes to like a lot of grasa and obviously if you guys know tacos de canasta I don't know why. La sin grasa. They just says they're good and I'm they're pretty... They're I fucking eat them all. They were good until like I saw the grasa. <laughs> oh, when they were in the... Yeah, when me somé and they were like drenched in grasa I was like, oh. She, was, she even hates fucking like fried food. Yeah, I hate like, fried... Like chicken fried... Canes? Dude, I canes? Can't. I can't. You cannot eat canes. Canes is the you know why? Because I imagine an amazing I... thing that happened. No, it's to not. Us. No, it's not. Anyway, so what's up then? So, anyways, we're gonna party right now. We're gonna like, woo, 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 turn up. We're gonna watch some music videos. Con Grupo Firme. Wow, they're doing pretty good. Yeah, we're gonna watch some and then just like party, you know? Because I mean, we can't be like sad and sad all quarantine because we're gonna get depressed. Hey everybody, so I just hit all the eggs. I hit all the eggs off so anything can, can uh, start looking for them. I'm um, gonna have them come in right now to uh, start looking for the eggs. Yeah? yeah. Okay, yeah, puppy. Where is it? I'm going. Wait, get your basket first. Go get your basket. Y todos con máscara. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I pretty much go to Subway. Subway? Yeah. I said no some hamburgers. I know. I know. I love Subway. Hey guys, so um, right now we're gonna be going to In N Out. We're gonna go see if it's open first because it nos antoja unas hamburguesas. And guys, right now, nobody can't. Good thing nobody is. I mean, we're in our car. In case you know, you know that we're in our car. Yeah, because since it is Easter, we don't. We're not sure if it's gonna be open. Um, and I don't feel like cooking today because fuck no, like to cook. I like hamburgers. Like, I just, I just wish que se lavaron solo los trastes. So fun fact about us, you guys. So from Buffalo Wild Wings, we only like the bone in, and from oh my god, see they're so dumb, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. They're so dumb, you guys. El otra vez, I was uh, driving. She's talking about a pigeon that almost ran over. Yeah, he almost ran a pigeon over. And I was like, oh, pues estaba ahí, estaba caminando el pigeon, right? And I was like, well, logically, they're going to move. They're birds, you know. They know that there's a car coming. They're, they're... So I thought the bird was going to move, you guys. Tell me why I ran it over. <laughs> I freaking ran it over. 
and there was this man outside and he was like ooh I just felt it like in the tire and I was like oh my god I'm so sorry no se murió cuz it was walking a little bit weird como que le machuqué como nomás guys Okay guys, so I'm gonna be making the birria as you guys can see from the title of the video So a lot of people want to know how to make make the birria my grandpa's recipe in specific And I cannot give that recipe away just because that's like his money maker recipe like people actually se le encargan para parties and you know um, if he does want to share that in the future then he could but I'm gonna give you guys a general birria recipe that like literally you guys can find anywhere and that it's pretty easy to make but my grandpa does add a little a little bit more stuff but i'm just not gonna add that stuff but it's it's still gonna be good so first first i'm gonna tell you guys what you're gonna need so you're gonna need some hojas de laurel oregano entero pimienta negra molida romero by the way i heard these are already open because i had some from last time i made birria clavo molido comino molido did i say already comino um if you can get it molido I would recommend it just in case sometimes the blender doesn't blend it right but a lot of people prefer to get it como entero porque it's more fresh, a little bit more fresh. That's what you're gonna need, all those condiments. A lot of people don't add all of this. You can always like only add a few things. It's still gonna be good but the more um, condiments that you add, obviously it's gonna taste way better. Unos tres dientes de ajo. I'm gonna add, so I'm gonna be using about five um, chiles guajillos. And basically what you do is you le cortas aquí. Donde están las semillas, las sacas. So this basically doesn't go here. I just throw it away. Y le sacas las semillas de acá adentro. So I'm going to use about five. Also, the carne that you're going to need is the mío de res. If you do want to add just a little bit more flavor, which is going to give it way more flavor because it has huesito. You can add chamorro de res. I do have tortillas and Monterey Jack. Porque vamos a hacer quesadillas de birria, as you guys can see from the title. And by the way, this is two pounds, uh, two pounds and two pounds. So it just depends how, how many people you are going to be making it for. So five. And then I'm going to go on with the chile ancho, which this is a little bit darker. I'm only going to add two. And I do the same thing to these. So the last time that I made it, no me salió tan jugosa como quería. Um, but this time le voy a agregar un poquito más agua para que salga más como queremos comer con su meja. So I'm only going to add two of these. Three, three. Okay. Voy a poner a... Alright guys, also I forgot to let you guys know que les voy a echar dos, to these, dos jitomates chiquitos. Babe, the um, lighting in the back is like super bright. Oh yeah? kind of have to wait for that to cook because that's like the main ingredient what the chiles how long does it take to cook those well, I have it on on the power burner so it's already hirviendo so probably like a good maybe like six minutes yeah on the power burner yeah when the they get they get soft that's when they're ready so we're gonna put the stuff in there. and i know i look a little funny because i have my workout clothes on and then i'm gonna be adding like Tres dientes de ajo. You guys are gonna be like, wow, that's it? That's how you make birria? You guys, yeah, that's how that's how I was like, wow, really? But sometimes no, no le sale a todos. Yeah, I feel like everyone has their own sazón too, you know? And like, a veces te sale bien blandita, a veces te sale no te sale tan blandita. Pero siempre me ha salido blandita a mí. I've only made it like three times. That's why we buy the carne from, from the here. Because, of years. because the carne is good. Yeah. It's kind of like it, a caldo, like it's the carne, huh? Yeah, like the carne has to The do carne, that. like the quality of the meat, like we notice that from Winko. No, no, compren the Winko porque hay No, you could buy the Winko one, but you have to buy the organic in the good oh, one. Oh, yeah. It's expensive, but yeah. the, the, the quality difference is like when you go to... um. It's old, that's why no, no se cocina como bien. Okay, so I have my cuatro dientes de ajo, so I'm going to put that in there. Vamos a regar unas... Cuántas hojas de laurel, pero es orégano. This much orégano. Ahí ustedes le tantean, eh, ahí. Pimienta negra. Clavo. This is like really strong, so don't put too, too much. Comino. Ya está molido, ya está molido. Oh, es un, oh yeah. Lo so mejor el molido. Ok. 
Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna add some romero because I guess I thought I thought we had it a little bit molido, but we don't. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. That was something else. Because I have them in the power burner, they're already a little bit quick. As you guys can see, the the tomatoes just están abriendo, so that means they're están cociendo. Sergio is. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I already know what. What? Gallos. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so now that I have my chiles in here, I actually ended up adding tres chiles anchos and then like five chiles guajillos. And so I have all of my condiments in there. My media cebolla blanca, and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna add just a little tiny bit of the water that I loco si with. I didn't add the other tomato because I don't want it to taste like tomato. I want it to taste like to taste like a condiment y no quiero que le quite el sabor tomato now lo voy a moler todo wow <laughs> que andale the onion está caliente yeah and the onion and the chiles <laughs> yeah el, el, el vapor de chile te quema Okay, but when you smell it, it should smell like the when you're cooking birria, how it smells. Does so, it? yeah. I don't even want it anymore. I don't want to smell it either. Yeah, it does. Oh, yeah. You smell it? Yeah. It's not going to taste like that because you're going to water it down. No, I know. It's not going to taste like this, but you want to make sure that it tastes kind of like condiments. So, um, obviously, it's going to get a different flavor with the carne, but you want to make sure that it kind of tastes like uh, condiments. So mine is good. Mine tastes pretty good. Um, now what I'm gonna do is chop up the carne. Hey, hey, hey. Are you supposed to cook it right now and put that on it? Oh man, when I usually make birria, like bomb bomb, I usually like la, la dejo marinar at least like a good three hours. But of course, we're hungry, so we cannot wait until another day to eat. So I'm just gonna cook it like this. Because yo si quiero consume, um, you can just leave it like this. La carne va a soltar agua, which is gonna make more caldo, but I want it to be really caldo. So yo si le voy a agregar un poquito más de agua, so it could be like caldo, caldo. Wow. You can't really The rest of whatever I had, para que se cocine con ese. Y le voy a agregar también más hoja de, hoja de laurel. As far as salt. Papi, shh. Sí le voy a agregar un poquito más. And then, when it's cooking, I could just taste it to see, you know, if I like it or not. And... Should be fine. I'll put it on six, on medium high, and then we're just gonna wait for it to be done, which is gonna be about two to three hours. Okay guys, so just to let you know, I did end up adding um, one and a half cups of beef, more, um, just because no se me hizo tan caldosa. For the sal, está bien, no le eche más. I just left it at what it had. For right now, it tastes pretty good. I already tried it, the sal, and it's pretty good. It's like perfect. Okay guys, so the birria is officially ready. Oh my God. I remember I told you guys that I added one half, one and a half a uh, cup of this. So I ended up adding another half uh, and a little bit more sal. You guys can go ahead and keep tasting it, but remember that whenever you add more water, it kind of gets diluted. So I do recommend for you to add, keep adding a little bit of salt, not too much. A lot of people are more salados than others. I don't like my stuff too, too salty. You know, I like it like normal. Right now I put some olive oil para que se vaya calentando. I do have my tortillas here. So these are supposed to be regular tortillas, but I don't know why Sergio brought these. We're gonna start making the quesa tacos right now. I am gonna put a little bit of consomme in here, a little bit of the caldito, preferably 
preferible with the grasita. All right, guys. Mm -hmm. Cut. Make sure to keep checking the carne. Para nosotros nos duró como unas two hours, like almost three hours, huh? So be sure to keep checking it because mm -hmm. you don't want to overcook it. También se yeah. hace dura. I should desbaratarse así, miren. Like así le mira guacha. Yeah. Mira guacha. Just how it's like desbaratándose así de fácil. Así Sin cojilla, con las puras tenazas, vale. Yeah. Voy a creer, vale. So it has to be this soft. That's how you know it's ready. And like I said, quality meat too, because yeah, sometimes too. it just doesn't get soft because... Puro becerrito. Please excuse Bella's corner. Si le cae un poquito de birria, pues le vas a ver a birria su lechita. So, we're just gonna do this. Es un enchiladas, ok? Casi. So, we just wait. Okay, I'm gonna flip the other ones. Now I'm gonna add the queso. Oh my god, it's a yo queso con su mea. Ay, Dios mío. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah. Ay, yeah. And add the cebolla y cilantro. Cebolla y cilantro. Cebolla y cilantro. I have, like I said, cute platos, so I'm gonna use like these little salsa ones. You guys can also add cebolla, cilantro, limon, chile in here, bomb. But if you guys don't wanna add that, you guys can just go ahead, dip your taco in here. Mmm, yummy. In here, and, and take a bite. Mmm. Mm. Wow, this is delicious. And I haven't even added salsa. I made this habanero salsa. Obviously, a lot of people can't take habanero. But with this one, you guys, right now we're going to show you guys. I can smell it. It's super strong. It's like también for Some, some chili de secados, ¿verdad? Mm. Oh, and I forgot to let you guys know that we did add cebolla y cilantro inside of the taco. That's optional, a lot of people don't like that, but it's bomb, huh? With it. And then I did I did make a habanero salsa. One jitomate, cinco habaneros secos, and un diente de ajo, and sal. That's it. Consume, you guys, that you guys have left. You guys can pre prepararlo. I wish we had lemon. So I could show you them. So you guys can also add lemon, which is super bomb. La verdad, no me quiero parar porque tengo flojera. Pero, si le agregan un poquito de limoncito, some chilito, you guys can eat it like this. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I'm going to do the post notification shout out. To um, so today's post notification shout out Kayla Castellanos Thank you so much girl for commenting on my recent video And for keeping up with me And if you guys would like a shout out All you have to do is of course be subscribed to my channel Turn on post notifications And give me a like And I'll talk to you guys in the next video I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe And tag me if you guys do recreate it And yeah it's super delicious you guys Trust me No se van a arrepentir I'll talk to you guys in the next one Bye